NM was driving his Model Y south on US Route 101 in San Luis Obispo, California. Rain was pouring down and he was driving five miles per hour below the speed limit with autopilot disengaged. He knew that sudden acceleration or braking might cause the car to hydroplane, so he was feathering the accelerator, but he still lost control. The Tesla hydroplaned into oncoming lanes. Due to sheer luck, NM managed to miss nearly all the northbound traffic, but his luck finally ran out and he hit the rear axle of a big rig. His tires had around 16,000 miles on them. They were in good condition and not bald at all. NM says it was a miracle that he and his family were able to walk away from the accident considering the amount of damage to the car. The cabin experienced virtually no damage, but the frunk and the crumple zone absorbed nearly all of the impact. The California Highway Patrol, the emergency responders, and the tow truck driver were all quite surprised that they got out alive. He urges other Tesla drivers to drive slower in rainy conditions and disable regen braking if possible. The Tesla was deemed a total loss by his insurance provider. Aaron was driving his Model 3 on a highway in Pennsylvania when he was hit by a driver who was cruising seriously fast. Luckily, everyone walked away from the crash uninjured. The police were called and the other driver was found at fault because they'd been texting. Aaron has filed an insurance claim and his insurance agent told him that they'll likely declare the Tesla a total loss. Let's watch that one more time on Multicam. Well, bam, Tesla cam. Ooh, are you satisfied? Well, this next submitter sent us a video as a warning to everyone not to do what he did, as well as an apology to all involved. Wow. Yeah, don't do this. The submitter was driving his Model X performance from Vienna to Prague when he got stuck behind a long line of cars. As they exited a village, he decided to overtake them. He narrowly missed an oncoming truck, but he hadn't noticed the vehicle in front of the combine harvester. He went around them on the right. Once back on the roadway, he lost control of his traction, but traction control got his traction back under control. He says that, fortunately, autopilot didn't interfere with his maneuver in any way at the time. He apologizes again, and he says this level of performance should be handled with care. Daniel was driving his Model 3 in Milpitas, California, when a gray sedan came speeding up behind him on his right. What that driver didn't know was that someone had placed a Mario Kart style trap in that lane. He swerved to dodge the stack of boxes, lost control, drifted across two lanes in front of Daniel, and finally crashed into the divider. Daniel immediately called 911 and reported the accident. The driver seemed to be fine, and luckily we can see that he was wearing a helmet. Scott and his wife were driving along a highway in Texas getting ready to exit when the driver of a Chevrolet started tailgating them closely. Scott had been going slower than the speed limit following a semi-truck in preparation for his exit, but when the Chevy didn't back off, he hit the juice pedal and zipped around the truck just in time to make his exit. As they were exiting, Scott noticed dirt being kicked up to his left. It was the Chevy losing control and swerving into the median. When he got back onto the highway, he lost control again and came back down the embankment. He finally hit a do not enter sign before coming to a stop. As the car started to drive away, Scott's wife called 911 to report the driver and the 911 operator asked them to start following the car. Scott said, heck no, as he'd just gotten into the full self-driving beta and didn't want to lose his safety score by getting involved in a pursuit. Liz was driving her Model 3 in Australia when she braked for the most Australian thing ever. The Osorio family was driving in Los Angeles, California when they passed a naked guy standing in the middle of the highway. Let us know in the comments what you think he was doing because we have no idea. Leonardo was driving his Model 3 in Germany when he witnessed firsthand why it's illegal to overtake on the right in most European countries.
Luckily, an accident was avoided, but some brake check road rage ensued. Rudy had just gotten off work and was heading home. While he was passing a Dodge Durango, he suddenly heard a loud bang. He thought the car next to him had hit him, so he pulled over, but the other car kept going. He checked his Tesla cam footage and noticed that the female passenger had thrown something at his car. After contacting the police, they came out and took a report. They said to contact his insurance provider while they attempted to contact the other driver's insurance provider using their license plate number. The charging port door had been damaged and cost 500 US dollars to replace. Here's our theory. Maybe she saw Rudy's bumper sticker and felt excluded. I don't know. Matthew was driving his Model 3 westbound on I-10 through New Mexico, heading toward Phoenix, Arizona. There was a pretty significant crosswind, and Matthew says he's never seen a tumbleweed this big. It hit another car, so Matthew disengaged autopilot and swerved to avoid it. Matthew wonders how autopilot would have reacted in a scenario like this one. Vin was driving with his cousin in Seattle, Washington, when they ran across this half-naked lady sitting on top of her car in the middle of the road with her hazard lights on. She was covering her <clears throat> chest with her hands, and it seems like she was staring at an apartment across from her. Vin thinks maybe her ex lives there. Josh had parked his Model 3 in Rome, Italy. When he got back, he found this rather unusual sentry mode event. Evidently, someone had taken their helicopter to work. James was driving west on I-20 outside of Augusta, Georgia, when the fuel tank dropped out of the car in front of him. Autopilot was engaged, but James immediately took over to dodge the small pieces of debris being spread across the highway. You don't see batteries falling out of EVs, just saying. This emitter was driving in Taipei, Taiwan. Hey, is that the new BMW M3? Anyway, he was driving along when a monkey ran out in front of him. When he braked, another one ran out after the first. This reminds me of the opening scene of Planet of the Apes. I've got a bad feeling about this. Tyler was selling some furniture on Facebook Marketplace. A potential buyer got stuck in his driveway when they tried backing out. Tyler used his Model 3's tow hook to pull them out, but the driver bumped into him in the process. He released the tow line, but then the driver floored the accelerator right into the snow on the other side of the driveway and got stuck again. He pulled them out a second time before they left. There was no damage to his Tesla's bumper cover other than the chip he accidentally caused while trying to remove the tow hook cover. Tyler says it was a lot of hassle just to sell some furniture. Here's the ad if you're ever in Glenwood and need a dresser or a tow. Ryan was driving home from work, waiting to turn onto Boundary Road in Vancouver, Canada, when a car ran a yellow light and rear-ended an older woman. Ryan made sure both drivers were okay and collected their email addresses so he could send them his Tesla cam footage. Josh was driving his Model X home from work in Fort Wayne, Indiana. It was an icy day and he'd already passed five accidents on his commute home. Traffic was slowing down for another accident on the road ahead when a PT Cruiser lost traction on the slick surface and spun out. The PT Cruiser made a full 360 degree spin while a large dog in the car stuck his head out of the window. The driver managed to avoid hitting any other cars and the big dog seemed okay. Dominic was sitting in his Tesla at a supercharger in Hesperia, California. 
All of a sudden, an RV drove over an island, went around the parking lot, and sideswiped his car. After the other driver realized what he'd done, he took off. Dominic got out of the car to flag him down before he left the parking lot, but the RV just left. Dominic called the police. When an officer arrived, he was told there was nothing they could do since the RV didn't have license plates, and Dominic couldn't give a good description of the driver. Dominic filed an insurance claim, and they predictably found the hit-and-run driver 100% at fault after seeing the video evidence. The repair cost came to 3,900 US dollars. The officer told Dominic that a lot of people are living in RVs full-time, and he sees a lot of this type of accident. He was really impressed by the Tesla Cam footage and told him that he'd just gotten done taking a training course about Tesla Cam and the number of accidents that have been captured by Teslas. We wonder if any Wham Bam videos were shown during that class. Daniel was driving his Model Y in sunny California when the driver of an SUV ran a red light in front of him, causing an accident. The driver of the SUV said the sun was in his eyes. Ah, classic Cali sun. Daniel provided the driver of the Toyota a copy of the video right away, and they were very thankful that Daniel had stopped to help. Reed was driving his Model 3 in Rochester, New York. He went to pass a slow-moving semi-truck and was confronted with a driver coming toward him the wrong way. Reed saw them in time and was able to beep and slow down to get out of the way. Reed says he's a longtime subscriber to the channel and he was inspired to get his own Tesla after watching all the Wham Bam Tesla Cam content. Well, I guess we're selling cars now. Congrats on the epic ride, Reed. Oh Lord, won't you buy me a cyber truck? My friends, I'll drive diesel. I must make amends. Nailed it.